All right, we're gonna look at patient and attendant attachments using a two rope system. Uh, we've already tied our long-tailed interlocking bolins. You've already learned that. So I've gone ahead and tied those. Those are pre-tied uh, for our purposes here. And you can see both of these are tied with tails that are longer than a wingspan, right? So a wingspan plus a little bit, you know, uh, almost three meters worth of tail there. Um, and so, so I've got, uh, I'm gonna be using a two tension rope system. So it doesn't matter which one of these ropes goes to me and which one goes to my patient. I'll just randomly pick that I'm gonna be in the white rope now. Um, so I've got my long tail interlocking bowlins. I'll go ahead and attach myself to the end of one of these ropes. Um, get my figure eight skeleton, put it through the two tie in points in my harness, tie my knot, I always keep my knot nice and close into my harness and just the right amount of tail, looks great. Okay, um, then um, with these uh, interlocking bowlins, the clip in point is actually gonna be right here where those two loops come together, right where those two loops come together. Um, so that'll be the clip in point, I'll attach right there. Um, and I'm going to use uh, these two ends. These two are the standing ends that will go to the uh, descent control de device or raising system or whatever. Uh, and I'll be on the bitter end here and we'll have these come down to me. I'm going to use a Purcell Prusik as my primary attachment into this system. So I'll just grab one of these Purcells off my harness. And with this Purcell Prusik, um, <clears throat> I'll pull this thing out um, and I have a couple different options. I can either take the fixed length end uh, and I can girth that through the two tie-in points in my harness like yay. Uh, or I can clip in to the uh, to the belay loop with the adjustable end. It doesn't really matter which way I go. Um, either way, I am going to retain adjustability in my system. Um, and then I've got my two bowlins here and I'll clip uh, the other end of my Purcell uh, into that locker that I went ahead and put in the bowlins. Great. Um, for adjustment on this, this Purcell is pretty darn long for this purpose. I'd probably want a much shorter one, um, uh, depending on what exactly I'm doing. Sometimes I'll want long ones. Uh, but generally, the way I wanna tie this is I wanna make sure that when this Purcell is lengthened all the way, then uh, I'm still just tight on it with a little bit of slack on the, on the tail of the actual rope. A little bit of slack to tail the actual rope. So in this case, I would need to extend this tail a little bit. I just feed a little bit of rope through here to do that. Um, <clears throat> if I am gonna go down side by side with the patient or I'm rigging up for a pick off or something like that, then I'll make sure um, that I have something for my patient to attach to. I'll either tie this directly into their harness or I'll tie a figure eight and then I'll clip that to them. Doesn't matter either way. Um, get this, that'll be to go into my patient. And then my patient will also have a Purcell that'll be their primary attachment. Um, and so uh, again, we can girth hitch that into their harness or perhaps uh, if I prefer, I can put the <clears throat> carabiner right next to mine in the same two loops, the master point of that interlocking bowl in. Get the fixed length end into there, and then we'll use another locker to attach this into my patient. So my patient will be attached with both these two, uh, these two beaners here. That's it.